Hi, I'm Greg Boyd here at the House of Fine Instruments, and I've been told to use brevity in this talk, and I'm not real good with brevity, but I will attempt it. Okay, what I have in my hand is one of the coolest banjos that we've gotten in in the last, uh, this year. It's a early 30s, um, you know, this is a sign of depression hitting America. These were designed by Gibson to be a, a lesser priced brand. Uh, they made several brands. Um, this is one of the main ones, the Kalamazoo brand. Um, they made many banjos similar to the Gibson line, but just called them Kalamazoo, like the KK11 um, instead of the RB11, for instance. And this is a KRB, which would almost be like the Gibson RB1, but less appointed with no flange and no... Uh, no bead of brass uh, under the tone ring, uh, as a tone ring under the head. This just has a head right onto wood. So I've evolved in my thinking over the 30 years or 35 or 40 years of messing around with banjos. Um, and so really I began to think at first tone ring was supreme. Whatever tone ring you had ruled and then one piece flange and things like that and then certain choice of woods. Now I understand the rim is really the engine driving the banjo. The tone ring only facilitates the vibrations to go into that rim better, uh, but um, there can be dead rims that you shouldn't use as a banjo. There's nice live rims. Usually these old Gibson rims, by the time they're 70, 80, 90 years old, are quite active and resonant. And so similarly, the neck is. This is the same as a Gibson neck, almost. Not quite as thick a peg head. There's no peg head veneer. Uh, there's no inlay. There's no truss rod. Um, and there's no volute. But otherwise, you have, there's mahogany, mahogany neck wood that's um, is that, uh, 85 years old. So, so the tone is really good. Um, these banjos are slightly, um, I would say, universally um, embraced by anyone with my, my experience, uh, similarly, uh, that deals with a lot of banjos. They're just, it's so cool because this is what you would buy for your teenager or you would buy as a, uh, a second banjo to your main banjo in the depression and you could afford it. But today's player, uh, to make this stage ready, you would these old friction tuners are worn. They're, they don't stay right on the note. They tend to drift off of it and go backwards. And uh, even before demonstrating this banjo today, I tightened and tightened these buttons, and still they're slipping a little. So if I were to make this stage ready, this banjo would sound great just with geared tuners put in here and... Uh, and a head that's not an untreated hide head. So in other words, you could use a treated hide head, a Renaissance would sound good on here, a regular Remo Weather King would sound good, a Five Star would sound good. Um, the banjo sounds good. Now remember, that's no tone ring, not anything, but you still... KRB from the early 30s, all original with original five-string case. <laughs> 